Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and on today's video, we're gonna get into our value. What is our value? Why is it important? Why it can get you in trouble if you focus on only our value when you're building your home, and the difference between nominal and effective our value. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like the video, comment below, because this is the feedback that we need in order to make sure that we are on the right track. All right, first, why is our value important? You likely know what it is in the sense that it's insulation. You've heard the term before. Insulation is what keeps us warm in the winter and keeps us cold in the summer, if you have air conditioning, of course. Uh, but that's probably not news to you. But what I wanna make sure you understand is that not all R value is the same. There is a difference between effective and nominal R value, and it depends on how it's installed. Now, what exactly is R value? R value is the ability of an insulation material to resist heat. The R stands for resistance. It's calculated by getting the temperature difference per unit of heat flux to sustain one unit of heat flux between the warmer and the colder surface of a material under steady state conditions. So what does this mean, Casey, is probably what's going through your head right now. Well, understanding the calculation doesn't really matter, but what is important is making sure that you understand how the R value will affect your home. The key term I do want you to remember from that description is steady state conditions. That's how it's calculated. I don't know about where you live, but where I live, there is far from steady state conditions. What's going on outside the home is very different from what's going on inside the home. And that's what we need to make sure we understand. For example, if you have R22 bat fiberglass in your basement and your basement floods and now your insulation gets wet. Is that insulation still going to be R22? No, it will not be. Obviously it's going to lose its R value. You're going to have all sorts of other issues as well. You're going to have mold issues. Things will happen. Or for example, you have R50 cellulose blown into your attic and it settles over time. Is it going to be R50 still? Or your roof leaks and it gets wet, is it going to be R50 still? No, it will not be R50 still. If you have insulation on the outside of your house and you don't have an air barrier, for example, and it's R10 and the wind's whistling at 50 kilometers an hour and it's coming through that insulation, is your insulation gonna be performing at the R10 that it's supposed to? Probably not, right? These are not steady state conditions. We do not build in steady state conditions. Another thing to point out is installation is important. If that R22 bat is squished into an area that's too tight for it, it's not going to perform at R22. So you need to make sure that whoever's installing the installation knows what they're doing and they're installing it properly. So the point I'm trying to get to here is that it's, it's about more than just the insulation. The insulation is one part of it. So you need to understand your building. You need to understand the building science. You need to make sure it's installed properly so that you can make sure that you choose the right insulation so that you can get the right R value and work with the team and figure that out for your building. So consider this for a moment. If you had Right now it's nice and warm and sunny out, uh, but let's say it was minus 20 degrees Celsius outside and the wind was howling by and I had a big down jacket on and I turned and I faced the wind and I opened up my zipper and let that wind in. Would it matter how much down insulation I had in my jacket for me to be warm at that point? No, because it's about more than insulation. The insulation is great, but I need to make sure that my jacket is zipped up. So I'm not gonna get into all those details, but what I'm saying is that the R value is just one part of it. And this is where it's gonna get you in trouble is if you focus on insulation only and R value only, you also need to focus on other things. Your home works as a system. The last thing I'm gonna get into for you here is nominal R value versus effective R value. Nominal R value is essentially the estimated R value that your assembly should be or the insulation product should be, whereas effective R value is how much, how well it actually performs. For example, if we go back to this two by six wall and we put these R22 bats in it and you build an entire wall and you have stud, insulation, stud, insulation, and so forth, the nominal R value of that wall is R22. However, the effective R value is not R22. Now, why is that? Is probably what you're asking. It's because if you were to take, for example, all of the wood in that wall and push it all to one side and then put all the insulation on the other side, you would see that the wood probably takes up about 20% of that wall construction, which means that 20% of that wall essentially has no insulation or it only has the R value of 
that two by six. So that means that your, your, your wall is performing at an effective R17.6 or somewhere between 17 and 18. So you're not getting the full R22. So that means the best way to add effective R value to your home is to actually do it on the outside, is to essentially put that jacket that I was talking about around the outside of your home, cover up all of those studs. Now, that does bring other complications into the bill, depending on what sort of cladding you're putting on and how much insulation you're putting on the outside and so forth. And this video isn't for that, but that is the best way to add insulation, to add R value, to add comfort to your home. Now, keep in mind that there are many other factors that affect comfort and efficiency and the health of your home. But as contractors, if you're watching this, it's your duty to make sure that you understand this, that you, that you give the best possible product to your clients based on the budget and the priorities that they have. And as a homeowner, you wanna make sure that you bring the right team on, that your team is working together so that you can get the best possible product, so that you can get that healthy, comfortable, and efficient home for you you and your family. Glad you watched this video until the very end. Be sure to like it, comment below. This is the feedback we need to make sure we are on the right track. And you, if you haven't already, check out episode two of the three day cottage where we have a nominal R value of R30 for the walls and R64 for the attic. And until next time, remember to live consciously.